hello guys if you are following my channel you might have noticed that i already have covered this tiniest microsoft model pi 3 in detail in this video i am going to show you how you can fine tune this pi 3 model on your own local custom data set and we will be doing it all locally we will be using a data set from hugging face but you can replace it with any data set of your choice before we show you how to do that let me give you a very quick overview of what exactly fine tuning means and how we are going to do it. Fine tuning an LLM like Phi3 involves adjusting its pre trained weights and biases to fit a specific task or data set. This process starts with a pre trained LLM as a base. We will be using Phi3. Then we will adding a new output layer or modify the existing one for the target task. And then we are going to train the model on a task specific data set to update its parameter and that is going to enhance its performance on the target task while maintaining its general language understanding capability generally fine tuning allows llms to adapt to various applications such as text classification sentiment analysis and the list goes on and on we will be using supervised fine tuning for this there are various methods of fine tuning and sft or supervised fine tuning is one of them sft is a process of adjusting a pre-trained language model's weights and biases to fit a specific downstream tasks such as text classification or sentiment analysis using labeled training data in sft the model is trained on a target task to adapt its general language understanding capabilities to specific requirement now enough theory let me take you to my local system and then we will fine-tune this model I am using Ubuntu 22.04 I have one GPU card of 24 GB and my memory is 34 uh, 32 gig now it might not be sufficient for the larger fine-tuning tasks and it takes long time for the fine-tuning but at least you can get started and if you have a smaller data set you might be finished in a uh, few hours or maybe even less anyway so let's get started and see how this thing works let me first clear my screen make sure to you have the latest version of transformers installed let me show you my version so i already have the latest version installed make sure you also have the trl uh, library installed from hugging face and a couple of other things which i will show you shortly let me clear my screen For the other prerequisites, make sure that you have TRL installed and data sets installed. Let's wait for it to get installed. Also make sure that you have Jinja to install. I already have it, so I'm not going to install it again. But as long as you have these installs, you are good to go. Let me clear my screen and let me launch my Python interpreter where I'm going to run all of this. You can put all of these commands in a python script and then run from there and don't worry about these commands i'm going to uh, put them in my blog and i'll drop the link to that blog in video description so you can just copy paste so let's first import some of the transformer stuff that is done let's get data sets library because that is what we'll be using and then let's import our supervised fine-tuning trainer from trl also get Jinja2 templating and then import the YAML that is done let's specify your model ID as I said that I'll be using Pi3 mini 4k instruct that is done and let's specify our new model name which will be because when we fine tune this model we'll create a new model the new model's name you can name it anything you like I'm just calling it tiny but mighty and then for this purpose I'm just using hugging face data um, hugging face data set opus samantha you can use any data set of your choice let's split it to train and then you can specify some of the stuff like max sequence length and this is a default i'm just training it for one epoch and you can train it for as many epochs as you like but don't overdo it lessons i'll just keep it apache and then i'm just passing my username for hugging face because you can also upload or push this model after fine-tuning the new one to hugging face 
learning rate i will just go with the usual one and then let's also specify per, de per device train batch size and i will also be explaining what exactly these stuff is uh things are like uh, what is exactly this gradient accumulation um steps are but let me uh, tell you what exactly gradient is gradient refers to the mathematical representation of how much each model's parameter contributes to the error and gradient accumulation steps control how many gradients are summed before updating the model's parameter reducing memory usage and improving training speed because when you have a new model then and when you first make a pass on it on a training data on a data set then the error rate is high right and then as you train it further it back propagates and then the that error rates coming down so that is roughly gradient is at a very very high level okay so these parameters are defined let's get our model the phi 3 mini one you can see that it is downloading it the size is just under 5 gig speed is good today which is always awesome it is almost downloaded thankfully i will let it run and the second shard is just under 3 gig let's wait for it to finish and that is also done it is loading the shards on my gpu that is done let's also get the tokenizer that should be fairly quick and now let's load our data set the samantha one it's not a huge data set as, as i know so let's wait for it to load so you see it is already done let's specify our end of uh, sequence token because otherwise it will keep running away let's also define a function to process that data set we are just mapping it to the prompt so let me actually first paste it and then i'll describe what is happening i'll just press enter a few times in this simple process data set function i am simply mapping the system to system human to user and gpt to assistant and i have defined this function in my previous videos too in different sequences so whenever you have data set you have to do this little modification in order to make it compliant to what this model requires that is done and let's map that data set mapping is also done and for the sake of completion let me print out one item from this data set so this is a user assistant and assistant so this is what data set is okay so now uh, let's specify our arguments for the training let me press enter a few times and these are all the arguments before i move further let me just quickly tell you what all of these arguments mean or maybe what i'll do just to save time i'll just go start the training with the sft trainer like this and then while it runs i will show you what happened there okay so let me fix it and okay i think i know what it is happening here but let me first give you a quick rundown of what exactly is happening here in the arguments now if you look at these arguments first one is the per device train batch this one and this one so what is happening here is i think i just repeated for some reason anyway so this is the number of training examples per device i think this is the error which happened there okay sorry so this is the number of training example per device gradient accumulation step i already told you gradient checkpoint means whether to save and reuse gradients to reduce memory learning this is initial learning rate for the optimizer and then this is the learning rate scheduler type and cosine for a cosine annealing schedule these are the maximum number of training steps minus one means there is no limit and then we have maximum steps or um, sorry num train epochs which is the number of training epochs and i have just given it one if you remember above and save strategy means that we are not saving here and logging steps we this is the number of steps between logging updates so one means that log every step and this is the output directory of our model which we have given the model name so it will be saved in local directory and then the optim is optimizer type and for this one we are using this paged atmd w32 32 bit 
and this is a 32 bit atom optimizer and then this is the uh, 16 bit floating point number we are using bf 16 and we have set it true and then we have our defined our trainer and i think i repeated this stuff maybe so that is why this error appeared so let me fix it and run it again quickly i think this error has to do with maybe accelerator because i am using an older version of accelerate so let me try to update it so pip install accelerate so my spellings are correct let me properly use the spelling and dash dash update and let me run those commands again all of it so as you can see that after updating that accelerate library it all worked okay so now all we need to do is to run the training with the train dot train and it is going to take a lot of time and i think it is asking me to log into that hugging face okay so let me do that i did that but you can see that still uh, it is not enough for my gpu memory and my poor gpu has even 24 gb of memory but still um it is unable to utilize that let me try to tinker with some of the parameters to see if i'm able to run the trainer job so and then i will try again let me try to reduce my batch size currently i'm using the batch size of four so as you can see i have just converted to two and let's see if it runs or not by the way uh when i say batch size so by reducing the batch size i'm processing fewer examples in parallel which can help alleviate memory constraint but the smaller batch sizes may lead to slow training times so i'm just trying to kick off the training and then i mean i'm not worried about slow or fast because the purpose is to just show you the training so let's see if it is able to do it this doesn't work i'm going to okay still out of memory okay let me try it out with one maybe if you are aware of any other hack let me know i'll be happy to do it so i have just turned it to one and then let's start the trainer okay so let's train it let's see if this doesn't work then okay no still anyway so i think it would require a lot of memory there i'm sorry so but i will drop all of these steps in my uh videos description as i mentioned earlier try it out uh, and then let me know how you go and if you are aware of any hack uh, please let me know and i'll be happy to run it again but i think the purpose is served now you know how to fine tune this 53 model on your own local data set um, locally and then of course once it is done you can just simply push it to hugging face or any other repo or you can even run it locally that's it guys i hope that it was useful i'm sorry that i couldn't uh, you know i don't have the beefy gpu that's all i have so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching